Good morning traders, welcome to Flow with the Markets Tuesday, volume 167. Ilya here, as always, excited to give you an update, see how Monday opened, see how Tuesday can potentially play out, and of course try to throw a little bit of a forecast towards uh, this week, what I would expect to happen. Of course, you know, as day traders, it is a little bit hard to forecast too much far away in the time, and pretty much, yeah, it depends on your trading style. If you're a day trader, what you mostly care about is what is going to happen today and even precisely what is going to happen in the session, right? So this is pretty much how I approach the market. If I trade London session, I try to forecast what could happen in London. Then if I jump back on New York, I'm going to reanalyze again, see what the current momentum is, see what, what the current structure is. And again, try to forecast where we could potentially go. And then this just keeps you kind of in control and uh, also in the flow with the markets. Okay. So this week uh, doesn't look that bad. We do not have a lot of news. Make sure to be checking your economic calendars as well. Uh, we have a couple of NZD, a couple of Aussie news, uh, but nothing very important in terms of Euro, in terms of USD. Um, so yeah, I think it's, it's, it's going to be a quiet week, probably stable. The Monday already opened very nicely. Today, we don't have anything to worry about. In my opinion, we have those, uh, kind of economic sentiment right there. Uh, it's a medium impact could give in some volume, but probably not much. And we have a speech from the ECB, uh, that is a little bit late in the day. So definitely not trading at that time. So nothing to worry about today. So we can definitely focus on the technicals and make sure to check out what we have ahead of the week as well. So probably time frame on the Dixie actually played out as we kind of expected. We had this recent shift right there. It was not very clean, but it was like with a wick up and then we broke lower. All right. So then this created this wick supply. What I always tell you about wicks is that they tend to get retested roughly around like uh, <clears throat> 25. Where is it? Roughly around 25 to 50%. There it is. So we tap 25% and you can see the market opened right there. 16th gapped a little bit down. Uh, consolidated for a bit and then it was actually around 11 o'clock that we started to dump to the downside so pretty bearish overall and we can see that we have created another uh four hourly structure break right now and actually if you carefully look at it right now we have another pullback like 12 hours of pullback right now and we are going ahead and creating even another structure break right now which is potentially going to also form a new supply okay so it doesn't look amazing because we have all of those areas right there. We left all of that empty space. So what can also potentially happen is we can maybe shift up right now and then turn bullish. Maybe this is why this range is being created right now. So the market can make it and then it can break it above like this, right? And then of course we can start going long. So that could be a potential outcome that I'm expecting. Why? Uh, because... If you remember, uh, how do I go to daily? Daily. If you remember like daily, weekly, we are overall bullish, right? So we have this massive pump. We have this overall pullback 50%. We push and right now we are potentially pulling back a little bit. We can also draw this uh, little range right there, which we can see right now we are precisely tapping 50%. So maybe this is the uh, psychology behind yesterday's uh, dump to the downside, right? So anytime soon, we can expect the flower to start aligning bullish and then we can start going long. Okay, but so far it's bearish, like we even have a, uh, a 50 minute range. So if it pulls back right here uh, and starts giving me like the setups, then I can potentially even go short, right? So I'm so far short in the Dixie. Keep in mind, I'm doing this analysis a bit early today because I'm going to be heading outside of home. Couldn't, cannot trade today, unfortunately. Uh, but yeah, Frankfurt is just about to open and look at the momentum already kicking in. So I wouldn't be surprised if this one just goes and breaks and uh, the market then shifts. Okay, then we're going to have a pretty much a bullish shift. I would really love for this candle to close first. We have one hour of this candle. So hopefully Frankfurt remains within this range because then the next hourly candle can close above. And then for, for tomorrow and the day after we can start going long. Okay. But if we get a short, then just go with the flow. Okay. So that's, that's the Dixie playing out good so far, but again, be aware uh, that we might go long anytime soon. So, uh, Euro USD. So yeah, on my personal chart, I actually took this one as an eight hourly supply. Uh, which could maybe not be the best case because yeah, I can see that here I took it like the whole range because I took this eight hourly supply and you can see this one still hasn't tapped. So what I'm thinking right now is that we still have a little bit more upside. But again, I just look at this. If we just take the whole range, then definitely the market is already tapping into some sort of a level on the left. But as you can see, our analysis played out very nicely. So uh, we kind of shifted up, shifted down, shifted up, shifted down. But the last shift was this. The market pulled back very nicely towards this hourly demand and then it pushed into the highs. 
unfortunately to me there were not any valid setups for me and i'm gonna tell you why well pretty much because of this big v shape right there so this is what caused oops this is what caused the come on early morning i can't get my fingers this is what caused the upside move right there and this is what caused the downside move right so this is up this is down and this is what caused the break of structure and also trend change so technically what is our valid range right now well to me it was this one okay so all morning yesterday all day well almost all day until like late new york session we were trading within this range which according to me was bearish right so after here it was kind of weak down, weak up, weak down, weak up, weak down, and then it pushed up. But then at that time it actually tapped into supply. Uh, so I did not actually consider longs from here. And even if I did consider longs from here, then the entry opportunity was not present. Then all we have to do is just follow like the one minute to the upside. So nothing that uh, I missed personally yesterday. And right now we see some clear momentum. But again um is it really bullish right that's the question well currently we have a very nice structure so currently we have this uh, 50 minute shift then yes the market uh, shifted bearish for a while but then it shifted back bullish right there right so what caused the shift to bullish it is this zone right there we also have a little bit of a base candle in the middle right and the, both of those zones are in the 50 percent so pretty much what i'm looking for right now you can see I have actually two alerts that could be a quick frankfurt slash london open trade hopefully to make another high towards this 8 hour supply, okay? If not, if the DXY also starts to reverse bullish, this one is going to reverse bearish, and potentially we can start um, a pullback or a reversal. So pretty much this is EU, right? So I'm going to be looking for this or for that, right? Both are valid, and I'm just going to be looking for my entry opportunities from both of those zones, okay? So that's EU, very simple. Um, unfortunately, this one does not really have a valid kind of range. You can see those candles are bullish, unlike the dxy which created a very nice forward zone so even if this one right now breaks below it doesn't mean the forward is gonna shift bearish right that's a little bit of a problem because again currently to me the forward range is this right so we kind of pull back we sold and then we bought right so this is my forward range it's not this little guy right there so again that divergence between the dxy and eu nowadays it's it's driving me crazy but it is what it is so currently long bias on eu i follow the 50 minutes until i'm proven wrong Euro JPY just continues to pump, right? We just took out the high. Uh, we expected that the market is going to take out the high. But yeah, this one just opened and just took it, right? <laughs> no slowdown, no pullback, no nothing. So again, we have to adapt. How do we adapt? Well, that's a bit tough. So um, yeah, man, this is very tough. So technically, it's it even didn't form like a valid high or low or something. Like I just through Wix. So I'm going to take this one. We also have, oops, we also have that little guy right there as a potential four hourly zone. Right now, we kind of slowed down for a little bit, pushed up. So it's just extended. It's just extended right now. And probably the 50 minute is also looking bullish. But I would say when it's like this, then avoid following it too much. And what I simply see right now is that the 50 minute took out the Asian high, took out probably previous daily high or something took out the high on the 50 minute and if we take out the low right there this will be a potential trend change so we can even start looking for the shorts but then if we also similar to eu if we start holding from this zone and and shift back bullish then i do think we can also take a long from here okay so again ej it's also all about the flow just keep in mind that this one is a little bit extended but again guys well it's never extended it can just keep pushing and pushing and pushing so Keep following the 50 minute until you're wrong and make sure if you want to go long on EJ that the 50 minute is bullish, right? Because this gives you a very high chance of success. Aussie dollar. So what I expected on this one is, uh, yeah, I didn't expect this one to hold. Uh, but yeah, honestly, it, it, it makes sense. So what my forecast was to actually have a break below here. So then we can trade from this supply. Okay, so this supply right now is completely invalid. This supply becomes valid if we break structure below but we didn't break structure below and actually we held bullish which is not very surprising because we had like this sell then we had this buy which caused a four hourly structure shift to the upside we just simply pulled back to the extreme wicks right there and we have been rolling very nicely to the upside so this makes me think are we gonna take out the high well it's very likely it is very likely so what we have right now is again like a little slowdown the market wicked low wicked high which technically creates a uh 50 minute range and uh, yeah you can see it right there so we have a push broke the high 
then broke the low, right? But right now it's breaking the high again. So this is kind of the last shift right here. And then what our task is, is to find a potential zone to enter from that is potentially below the 50%. And I'm going to already let you know that this is on the hourly. So I'm going to take this hourly zone, which is kind of one candle and engulfing candle following a very nice um, demand zone. So yeah, this is currently my outlook on AU. It's also bullish to me, similar to EU. So I'm going to flow with this kind of flow until it, it goes wrong, right? And when it's going to go wrong, if we break below it, or if you make a high and then we break the new high low. Okay. So if you're looking for an intraday setup right now, then I do believe long can be the case. And the market is right now responding from some sort of supply on the left, but it's very close to also taking out the high. And if the forward is really bullish like this, then I do think it could take out the high. So let's see if we can actually get a long opportunity on AU. It doesn't look bad at all. Um, Yes, look at this one. So this one is also playing out very nicely. We had very we had similar setup across the setups across the board, and they all play it out. Break of the low, break of the high, retest of the zone, and continuation higher. Okay, so we can all the way refine this one right to, to the last last candle. This is where we currently are at. Uh, but yeah, just the forward is just beautifully bullish, right? And we just created one, two, three. We can have a four and a five, right? Just five waves. Usually, what we have on average. So very bullish for H, uh, it kind of gave that little pullback. So still, what I forgot to mention on the Aussie as well is that, yeah, we don't have a valid range. I'm sorry. So we don't have like a break of structure right there at the highs in order to draw something like this, right? Or something like this, I should say. So we're still trading within this range right now. While what we have on AJ is a brand new range because it made a new high high. Okay. So even if we right now break below this, right if we break below the asian low which is also kind of holding the, the the demand zone right if we break below it then that that does not mean we're reversing bearish right we're still bullish training within this range and then the 40 time frame can just pull us back below 50 percent the 50 minute can align again and then we can start going long okay so there are my two potential outcomes on on each on aj sorry right i'm looking for a trade right there for a long trade right there if this one fails then we can also take short-term shorts Right, uh, but then I'm simply gonna be looking for uh, a four hourly pullback below 50%, and then potentially we can continue longing because we can expect one more pullback and one more leg into the highs. So let's see if that's gonna come to fruition. Uh, surprisingly, while well, we see NZUSD actually broke the high, okay. So this setup again, pay attention. So hopefully some of you didn't short from here because again, this only shorts if we break the low. Then this makes this supply valid. We didn't break the low, so this is definitely invalid. And what I really like about uh, NZUSD is that unlike the Aussie, it actually ended up breaking structure, right? So breaking structure there, breaking structure there, very nicely bullish. And right now we have a, actually a bullish range right now. Oops. So uh, what we can do right now, well, we can just keep following it again. We can initiate the pullback right now uh, to come back towards this little wick right there, which is probably going to be seen like on an hourly or in a 50 minute time frame. Yeah, this one is a bit tricky because we have this zone right there and then the last sell and then the buy. So the last 50 minute range is this. Okay. So technically, yeah, we can look for, for this little guy, but I was just going to take also the Asian law, just make a zone like this. Okay. So what could happen right now is we can pull back towards this one and maybe hold. Who knows? This one is a hard probability right here. But if the market comes down there, it's going to shift the 50 minute bearish because the 50 minute is going to shift bearish right there. And then we have to wait for alignment, right? Then we have to wait for the 50 minute to turn back bullish and then to potentially uh, go with it. Okay. What could also happen is we can go at the high and then shift lower. So then we can go short into the 50%. That is another flow we can do, right? So there are potentially the three potential outlooks, right? It's very hard to, to really forecast what's going to happen because we just don't know what's going to happen, right? All we can do is just flow and just see what the market is going to do. But I try to give you as many uh, examples as possible so you can potentially expect what could happen. But a fourth thing can also happen, which I don't know, right? So this is my view on NZUSD. If we tap inside this one, uh, a long is valid. And keep in mind the flower is beautifully bullish. So uh, the highest bet that you can take is going long. I would expect NJ to be very bullish as well. Like, oof, look at that. It's just smashing the roof right now so it's pushing very strongly right now making a new hard high as well like a very massive push on this one wow why i don't know i th i think we had some news on the city uh but yeah pretty much i do think again the demand zone is going to be within this wick 
Um, yeah, technically you can even take this one, but this one is way too low, right? The, the, the market pushed uh, 200, yeah, 250 pips to push up. So it's not going to push 200, and, yeah, 200 pips down just to tap this. No, it's probably just going to pull back somewhere right there. I can see also Wix right here, which is probably going to be my uh, 15 minute zone. Yeah, there's our 15 minute zone. I'm just going to make it smaller, similar to what I did on the Aussie. So same setup. Exactly the same setup. We'll be looking for this pullback right there, a setup, and a potential long. If this doesn't work, then I'm going to be looking for the lower one. But if this one breaks, then the 15 minute is going to align bearish. So we have to wait for a realignment. And of course, what could happen right now is the market can break above. And after this break above, you can, of course, keep following it. But if it breaks below, then you can go short into the lower zone. Okay, so th this is actually another, another situation we can have on the Aussie as well. I don't know. I think I mentioned it. Okay. It's too many scenarios. I usually don't do this for myself. I just, uh, yeah, I just watch the market and just adapt with the structure. But for you, I would like to provide you like with those occasions. Okay. So that's NZJ. Uh, very bullish together with the NZD. So your best bet is going long. Uh, UJ. Uh, this one probably also. Ooh, I'm very optimistic. Yo, where are you going, bro? Like a, a massive big pullback. No. You can see this one just keeps pushing. And this one is actually a valid hourly break. It broke again. Um, a little bit tough, but this one is kind of a hourly demand zone. So it's just tapping into that demand zone. But it's very choppy, man. How do you trade this? Ah. Yeah, well, technically, this is a break of the low. Then this is what actually caused the, the shift. Then uh, potentially you can find like a demand zone right there. It tapped the demand zone and it's probably already giving you like a a one minute entry right there so you're a bit late on the train right but uh, uh it, it it could give another setup i just don't see it very well right yeah uh, the 50 minute is pushed so we can have like another test we can have another test right there but yeah i would say just if you're trading uj just find your way towards getting long because it's just bullish right right now it's making this kind of flowery ranges right there which is which is very good but in order for the flowery to shift bearish this is what you need to see right this has to break first so as long as the market is above this zone right if we can even take that zone right there to be more precise right as long as the market is within this zone you keep longing okay don't short i saw somebody mentioning shorts and in the comments please don't right save your save your balance save your capital so yeah if we can manage to get long like and long is already playing right there so it can just continue pushing up but like on frankfurt open or maybe london open we can have that little uh, sharp spike into the lows. Uh, UCAT with the bearish Dixie actually failed to hold from this zone, right? So what it did, it kind of shifted bullish. It gave a little long right there. It pushed up, it failed. And right now it's shifting lower. So we have to re-examine what is happening on this one. Well, we are technically, uh, it is breaking structure to the downside right there. And uh, yeah, it, it doesn't look like a very, very valid range, but it looks like a new hourly range, this one. And what did I have on the daily? I keep doing D1. Uh, use the cat one day. Yeah, on the daily we're bullish. So, so that could be the case that we are pulling back right now on the daily. But then again, for me, for my strategy right now, I have to wait for the flowery to align back to bullish, like similar to the Dixie. Okay. So in order for the flowery to turn bullish, this has to break, right? Uh, but as long as we're below this one, I'm bearish. So if I have a pullback right there, I'm going to be looking for a short on this guy. It actually looks good. Uh, exactly the same as the Dixie. Does that usually look... Uh, move together with a Dixie because it looks very similar. Like they have a pretty much the similar range and they have pretty much the similar uh, the same hourly play out as well. So this is how I look at UCAT right now. Um, the most recent flow is bearish, so I'm gonna keep following the bears uh, as long as and I'm just gonna keep following the hourly ranges because in order for me to long right now, as I said, I need the hourly break, hourly retest, and then we can go to the moon. Okay, so this is how I look at UCAT right now. Very very simple. I'm not trading this pair yet, so. Um, GU actually played out the bullish scenario. This one was the bearish one to break below and then um, and then come back to retest. This one is the bullish one. Unfortunately, uh, it just opened and it just pumped. So no pullback. That's the unfortunate part. Right now we're having an, a structure break right there. And a brand new range, which is right there. So uh, we're tapping like in the big, big zone right on the left so it's actually pre pretty big so i'm just gonna remove it and uh, focus on what is happening right now the market can potentially pull us back towards the 50 percent i don't see a clean zone though we have to like uh, go to a to an hourly time frame maybe 
yeah, even the owl is not that clean. Like, GU is a mess a little bit to me, personally. But yeah, knowing GU, probably it's not gonna go from here, but it's just right now providing a long setup. Just right now it's providing a long setup, like sim something similar to what we have on EU, AU, NU as well. GU is right now providing it. But knowing GU, it's probably gonna take out the Asian low and then it's gonna go, right? So it would really suck. And maybe it's gonna come in towards this zone, 50%, and then give us the 15 minute shift and then we can start going up. Okay, so let's see how it goes from here. Uh, but yeah, this is an immediate long you can be taking. Like the one minute is probably being provided right now. Yeah, I'm, uh, took liquidity as well, which, which is great. So what I need to see break is, of course, this guy right now. So if this guy breaks, we can have a retest, stop loss, try to keep it below right there, right? So we can get in something like this, right? Which is a slightly big stop loss, like 10 pips. So we can maybe minimize a little bit like this, 9 or something. And yeah, then, then you can go for the highs. So let's see. I do think this one can, can play out just, just a very quick one. Uh, but then I, I like knowing GU, it's going to take some sort of liquidity. Like Asian low, 50%. Let's see. Okay, but let's see how this long plays out. Exactly the same long on, on GJ as well. So let's see if those actually play out, right? So I think by the time I publish this one, this one is going to be playing out. Uh, but yeah, same story right now. So this setup played out beautifully. We had these wicks, the market pulled back towards the wicks, right? And ended up responding massively, creating a new break of structure and a brand new four hourly range. Oops, let me draw the range like this. Man, what is happening? There it is. Um, I would take like this whole zone as the major higher low. This is where potentially I would love to see price and also towards the 50%. And right now, as you can see, the 15 minute is uh, bullish right now. It aligned bullish. It's tapping into demand. So it's potentially providing us a long opportunity. But again, we can ask, is this a good position to long GJ? Well, it's not bad as well, but I would personally prefer like a nicer pullback on the 4H and then we can potentially start rocketing. Okay. But it can rocket from here as well. Uh, the one minute... Structure shift hasn't occurred yet, technically. Now, I would love to see a break above this one first and then to potentially take it. So, let's see how this one is going to play out. But again, guys, uh, knowing the GBPs, they are going to do some trickery before they give you the setup. So, watch out for that, okay? Your GBP, I don't care about you, GOAT. Um, yeah, okay, GOAT is, uh, is good. So, very nice bearish structure. I expected a pullback right there. It came very sharply. It rejected massively. And right now, it's pulling back maybe to, to give another short. So, so let's see. But uh, the Dixie is also going short right now. So, this just keeps shifting, man. It's so complex. So, we pull back very deeply inside the zone. And as you can see, we... Okay, we wicked right there as well. So, we wicked right there. And then we broke back. So is this the real move? So yeah, I would say this one is like the extreme extreme. So if you pull back towards right there, you can you can look for potentially for a short. And what we see right now is that the 50 minute is potentially aligning bullish. Yeah, or is it? Yeah, well, yeah, it, it, it absolutely. Yeah, because I'm just looking if this one right there is valid. But yeah, this one is a valid alignment to bullish. Then you have the zone. It taps the zone and actually already massive moves higher. So right now, again, uh, similar to all the setups we had so far, we have like this recent 15 minute demand. So if we pull back towards it, uh, we can have a setup until this high right there. Or maybe we can even take the high. So, but again, keep in mind that this one is bearish on the 4H. So actually going long is a low probability. So it's not the best bet you can take. The best bet you can take always is the hourly uh, move, like the hourly trend, I mean which is bearish. So if you want the highest probability trade on this one, then look for a short, right? But in order to look for a short, you need a setup, which we do not have right now because the 50 minute is, is bullish right now. So let's see how it's going to play out. If it actually breaks below here, uh, then I'm just going to keep following the recent 50 minute ranges and then just going short and targeting the low, right? So that could be a potential target. It really depends on the Dixie though. Like imagine the Dixie actually starts to, to continue dumping to the downside. That's possible. Well, then gold is actually going to uh, pump higher a little bit. So let's see. Uh, this one is important zone right there because that could be potentially the fairly lower high, uh, which could be protected as well. So uh, let's see if it's come back right there. But if it doesn't, and if it breaks 50 minute structure right now, then I'm just gonna follow uh, the recent 50 minute ranges. Okay. So I'm overall bearish, uh, but I also don't ex exclude the the long possibility. Uh, the indices are uh, pumping without much of a pullback. They just opened and it just pumped, right? So we're breaking out the highs. So what we can simply do is we can just keep following the structure. 
it's it's a bit hard to find like we have to go to a to a hard time frame but even on the hard time frames it's hard uh to find like a, a, a proper zone right uh but yeah then just you can just draw your range like this so i, I, I don't know why we have this risk on sentiment right now um it's probably like uh, pulling back for more liquidity before the next interest rate hike potentially pulling back towards this weekly zone right there so that could be the case uh, but yeah as long as it's long we keep following it right the 50 minute is also very long like the 50 minute range is uh, potentially this one so if you get the pull back towards right there then i will be interested to long right uh it's us 30 that i only follow so nasdaq also very nice tap it just boom massive push into the highs so again uh, when it's a massive push you can just expect even a 30 percent pullback and it can continue going higher so keep following this flow the four hourly is bullish so again always what is my best bet your best bet is to go long okay but in order to go long you need to go with the 50 minute or the hourly depending on your strategy and the SP as well very nice a response from 35 very good but again i want more well it's not about what i want but i think we can get a little bit more like again my next potential call will be at 3k right or at least 31 uh but we definitely need like a big hike we definitely need a little bit more um fear into the market so probably this this could happen let's see right let's see the market is right now coming to revisit like this supply so let's see how it's gonna hold but we have one two three four five pushes potentially that we can make so we can go even for one more higher okay so keep following the flow as long as you're wrong uh bitcoin oh what is happening right there i saw some news like yeah, i just went to to, to take out the low and they are just throwing some massive so i'm just avoiding bitcoin and ethereum for now that they, they both grab some nice liquidity i don't know why maybe some of you knows but yeah to keep it simple i'm, I'm gonna end it up here right so uh bearish dixie so far looking forward to see if we can follow the bears or if it's actually gonna turn bullish your usd is also bullish looking for a potential setup like this right that can potentially play out right now on frankfurt open oz dollar nzd aj ej nj everything is bullish right now but again stay mindful of this right so right now if we break above then if we break below it's gonna align bearish right so watch out the ranges right watch out the ranges uj is also bullish we can have a chance to to go long on this one uh gbp usd is just potentially providing a long setup although uh it's it, it hasn't really okay just now right now it broke so you can maybe go ahead and take a long on this one let's see how it plays out uh gj is also long gold is a little bit 50 50 to me uh it's bearish on the 4h but it kind of looks like a little bit with a bullish sentiment so let's see okay hopefully you enjoyed it let me know if you didn't down in the comments i wish you a crushing week ahead of you and uh, yeah let me know how you performed then on saturday and uh, see you then